welcome guys once again in my youtube channel today we're going to review we're going to program this Dixel and the model is XR20CX and this one guys has only one output relay and this is intended for compressor only and with one NTC sensor I just supplied 220 AC source and it's already on and I restore back the setting to the default so we can program it and I'm gonna teach you on how to program this control in chiller setting let's start guys with the set point set point guys here I have a default of 3 degrees celsius so let's begin with the set and the description is set point this set point guys where the compressor stop operating when reach our set point and the default is 3 and my chiller setting guys is between 1 to 4 degrees celsius so my set point will be 1 degree celsius and to enter this set guys if you want to check the set just press this and release and here's our set set point now if you want to change the set point guys press the set button for three seconds and when the degree celsius blinking you are now allowed to change that and we're gonna change that to one degree celsius that's it press set button to memorize and next that's why this is the differential guys where the cut in and cut off operation of the compressor and we have a, we have a default of two degree celsius and to enter that press the set button and arrow down button for 3 seconds and another set button and arrow down button for 7 seconds press that at the same time and we are now in hidden parameter all the parameters is listed to reveal the value press the set button and 2 degrees is the default and 2 degrees is stored here and we're gonna change that to 3 degrees celsius y3 because chiller is between 1 to 4 degrees celsius and from counting that 1 2 3 4 so we have a 3 degrees celsius 3 degrees celsius and next guys is next guys is the LS LS guys is the minimum set point of our unit since our set point is 1 so we gonna change that to 1 also so my LS should be 1 degree Celsius and let's change that other technician they fail to to change the LS and US they don't like to change this but they don't know the real use of this one so they neglect to and let's proceed to US guys and US is 100 degrees Celsius and I'm going to change it to 4 degrees Celsius and to do that why 4 degrees celsius because my temperature for the chiller is 1 degree celsius to 4 degrees celsius so my compressor is stop operating at 1 degree celsius and compressor on when the temperature rises to 4 degrees celsius that's why we have a differential of 3 so I'm going to set that to 4 degrees celsius it has a purpose guys why the LS and US is being 
uh, set by the engineers who program this one so I don't want to neglect it okay what you guys is zero okay I've been teaching this to my Dixel and I elaborated this to my uh, previous uploaded I'm going to share the link here and next is okay we don't have that we don't have that let's proceed guys after the OT to AC okay AC uh, this is the anti short cycle and the and the default is one minutes usually we set this to three minutes <coughs> so this one guys is zero the AC is three minutes next guys is CCT if you have a new product arrive and you want that to be cold in a certain period of time you want to be cold within three hours just put a value of 3 here and this will be read as hour so just press that set I also have a support video for this so I use 3 hours here and the default is 0 now that is CCT guys and next is the CCS and CCS guys is the set point for the continuous cycle so I'm going to put a set point of put a set point of 1 degree Celsius same set point here okay? same so 1 degree Celsius my compressor keep on running for three hours and maintain the, the set point of one degree Celsius in case of abnormality guys the compressor on description is compressor on with faulty probe and the minimum the default is 15 minutes so I'm going to change this to 5 minutes and I want my compressor just in case this sensor got a problem and it will turn off within a certain period of time and I'm going to from the default of 30 I'm going to put a value of let's say 10 minutes okay in case of ab abnormality my compressor off without uh, neglecting the value I put for the set point and for the highest which is the 4 degree Celsius and the differential 3 and the operation between between 1 degree Celsius to 4 degree Celsius the operation is on and off on and off in case of abnormality this compressor on and compressor off will prevail in order to protect the compressor okay so usually uh, most of the technician they don't want to change this but if you want to use this one guys just use this for chiller freezer is different guys okay this model is for chiller only let's change 15 to 5 once again to enter the programming mode press the set button and the arrow button for three seconds and we're gonna enter the hidden parameter because here only few parameter listed here okay let's locate the see on okay see on 15 we change that to 5 degrees celsius press set to memorize and let's change the compressor off that's 30 we change that to 10 
10 minutes okay and next guys since this model doesn't have a relay for the compressor meaning the compressor will stop the moment the IDF reach the hour you put here uh, this is the default I'm going to change it to 3 assuming that your customer is a busy restaurant so you want to change it to six no problem five no problem but if it is busy guys make sure that the cheater will defrost every eight hours okay so if i'm gonna choose this to change this to three hours uh, 24 divided by 3 is equal to 8 hours so every 8 hours this unit will defrost without defrost heater and how is that happen those frost accumulated in the evaporator will melt within a certain period of and the max length defrost is 20 minutes but I'm going to change that to uh, 15 no problem if you want 15 if you want 20 no problem minutes if the unit will not going to be a busy restaurant just in case whatever use of this unit you put 20 no problem okay so we're gonna change that one and the dfd here is display during the frost usually we select df here okay so the people near the unit they will not be alarmed just in case during the defrost if you put it here and if you put df here i'm going to activate that okay so you will see okay this is it guys the current temperature is the same but the defrost symbol light up but if you change that to df this value will be changed to df and the customer will not alarm just in case the value here is very high okay so let's power that off okay and power on that's how you reset it and let's change the idf the idf guys is interval between the frost cycle and to enter the programming press set button and arrow down button for three seconds and another set button and arrow down button for seven seconds to enter the hidden parameters okay and let's locate the IDF set and change that to 3 if you want 5 no problem 4 no problem but if PC restaurant just set it to 3 so every 8 hours the unit will be fresh for the NDF you want 20 minutes no problem but if I want 15 because it's a busy so I gotta choose this one okay case to case basis guys so I already changed it for the DF DFD set it's set to IT for the default and I'm gonna change that to DEF okay meaning the first okay already changed and the ALU guys okay I already have a separate tutorial about this ALU and AL but I'm going to uh, discuss it to you guys also here briefly so let's put it there okay for the ALU guys next is ALU and ALU guys is max temperature alarm and we have a value of 110 degrees celsius and we're going to change this to 
positive then and the ALL minimum temperature alarm is negative 50 I'm going to change it to negative 6 degrees Celsius and I'm going to delay the activation of this one guys just in case of abnormality the compressor will stop running the temperature rise up and it reaches positive 10 degrees Celsius the compressor will stop because this one got a problem this sensor here sensor here got a problem and it goes the compressor to non-stop so upon reaching the positive 10 degrees Celsius and just in case the minimum temp alarm got a problem and the compressor not stop running because they got this sensor here got a problem and upon reaching the negative 6 because usually uh, upon reaching the set point which is 1 degree Celsius the unit will stop the compressor will stop but during the faulty of sensor it this this positive one here goes up to negative 15 and so on and so on and I'm going to prevent that I'm going to uh, set change the negative 50 to negative 6 so my compressor going to stop in just in case of abnormality okay this is the purpose of ALU and AL the ALU for the max temperature alarm and the AL is for the minimum temperature alarm the compressor will stop okay compressor in case of faulty probe and I'm going to delay the temperature alarm ALD is the temperature alarm delay I'm going to delay that to three minutes before the activation of this one guys so upon reaching for the ALL negative six it has a delay of three minutes to activate so once this one reach the negative eight or negative ten uh, the compressor will stop so will not going to be over frost okay so this is the purpose some unscrupulous technician they don't want to change this but me I want you to learn and go deeper with the control guys so you gonna enjoy the full functionality of this control and let's proceed to that okay once again set button and hard down button for seven seconds and let's change that okay let's push it there ALC okay here I'm going to change it to positive 10 set to memorize and next guys the ALL set and default negative 50 we are going to change that to negative 6 negative 6 set to memorize and I'm going to delay the activation of this to here to 3 minutes only and ALD is the delay and let's change that to 3 minutes set and this is under my setting and if I do not want somebody to touch my setting here to return to the display set button and arrow up button and if you want to lock all your setting just press the arrow up and arrow down button at the same time okay P off appear meaning my setting will not be
changed by another technician aside from me look see I want to change that one I cannot change that one okay set for three seconds see I cannot change it it's being locked now uh, to unlock this unit guys just press the arrow up button and arrow down bottom at the same time to unlock press that at the same time and be on up here meaning you can change all the setting now and to start the manual defrost just press the icon here and df will appear the F and the icon here light up also okay guys use the manual for this control okay all the highlights here is only we changed all of this if you have question guys please comment it down so I can answer that if I'm not busy God willing and if you still follow me guys please click subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be updated just in case I have a new upload videos thanks for watching until then have a nice day